Welcome to the October 21st, 2021 video version of the Wagner Daily. My name is Rick Petticelli, and as usual, once a week, this video replaces the written commentary portion of our report. Hopefully, it serves a nice change of pace as well as offers some insight as to how we set up our charts, what time frames, and indicators we use. In tonight's report, we're going to go over a few broad market averages, then we'll cover open positions in the model portfolio. And finally, we'll take a look at what's out there in terms of actionable setups. First up is the NASDAQ Composite, which rallied 0.6% on higher volume. And our timing model's been in buy mode since 1014 when the NASDAQ reclaimed the 20 EMA. And it is now back above the 50 EMA. And the 20 is close to uh, crossing back above the 50 as well. So a pretty strong recovery back above the 50 MA so far in the NASDAQ. The S&P has moved to new highs ahead of the NASDAQ, which is still, I'd say, about 1.3% uh, away. And then we have IWP, our proxy for growth stocks, also set a new high. And a very strong recovery off the lows and uh, solid price action since reclaiming the 50 MA. So overall, market conditions have improved considerably the past two weeks, enough so that one could be fully exposed to the market, and depending on how aggressive one is with margin, could be on margin as well. And we should continue to see breakouts work and new setups emerge during the next few weeks. We currently have nine open positions in the model portfolio. Uh, we're long Dokken, which uh, moved to new highs on a pickup in volume. Asan also moved to new highs on a pickup in volume. Bill, we added to above the high here. Uh, we're wrong from about 302. It finally closed above the the prior high. And we'll have to see if it can chop around for a day or two up here above 303 and then take out this uh, prior high. Also reports earnings on 11.4, so something to uh, keep in mind. Snow we bought on the breakout above the base high around 333 and it uh, reversed higher on Thursday but uh, volume was pretty light. D-Dog we're long from 146 and adds around uh, 155, 156 continues to push higher. SC we're long from the breakout at 360 has yet to extend much beyond the, the breakout pivot but still holding above that 360 area. MRVL we bought over 66 and it reversed uh, just shy of the the 10-day uh, EMA so looking pretty good and UPST we're along from entries at 310 314 and 349 if the 10-day EMA doesn't hold we'll likely stop out of our uh, position with about a 10 to 12 percent gain and last is LC which we bought on the base breakout at 33 and added to over the high of the reversal candle. Looking for LC to hold this two-day low to maintain momentum, or at the very least, a 10-day EMA. But it does report earnings on 1027. So if we don't have much of a cushion by then, we'll likely exit prior to the report. As for actionable buy setups, A, B, N, B, is chopping around in a fairly tight range the past few days. The first pullback was 10% off the highs. The second pullback was about 5.5%. So it's definitely tightening up and uh, could be in play if it can get back above this 173 area. CELH has tightened up the past few days. Potentially in play on this downtrend line break, but I believe a lower entry can be placed around uh, 98. CrowdStrike in play over the base high, unless there's some sort of pullback to the 10-day uh, EMA first. TNDM, interesting setup here in that there's a move to new highs and it's a false breakout. And then the price action uh, recovered. And now is going sideways here and is potentially in play over the two day high. Well, 
Oil and gas stock SD. This is the first pullback to the rising 10 week moving average here on the right. This is the weekly chart, uh, the rising 10 week here. Interesting, especially if it can hold the 10 uh, 20 low. Look for the price action to break this uh, downtrend line and clear the 10 and 20 day EMA is around 12.33. Bros B R O S. Interesting if it can get back above this breakout pivot at 62. If so, then look for a stop beneath the low of 10.19, the breakout bar. And last chart of the night is UPST. Uh, if not already long, UP, UPST could be in play if the price opens up above this uh, 358 area and holds. Then I'd look for a five, a 15 minute high possibly to uh, look to buy. <clears throat> and UPST could be in play if the price opens above Thursday's open right around this 358 area and can hold above the open. <clears throat> Holly. And the last chart of the night is hubs, which has stalled on a few attempts to get above this uh, 815 level. <clears throat> but if the price can open at or above, but if the price can open above uh, Thursday's close and then take out Thursday's high, could see some follow through. Especially... to the upside ahead of earnings, which are 11.4, which is 11.4. So just a quick recap, uh, market timing models on a buy signal. Um, breakouts are working. Breakouts and growth stocks are working. They're not exploding higher. Um, but that just means we'll have to... Uh, but we'll just have to be patient with these setups because they really haven't done... Uh, but we'll just have to be patient with the open trades and the model portfolio as they really haven't done anything wrong yet. Um, they're still holding up. They sh they've uh, just... So just a quick recap. Uh, the market timing model is on a buy signal. The S&P 500 is at new highs. The Nasdaq is closing in on new highs. And IWP, our growth stock ETF, which is a proxy for growth for us, is at new highs. Uh, breakouts and growth stocks are working. Uh, they're not exploding higher, uh, but they um, are holding up and will end for current and for open positions in the model portfolio, uh, we'll likely have to. Breakouts are working. They're not exploding higher, uh, maybe just a few, but there's enough out there to suggest that. But there's enough bullish evidence out there to uh, certainly be 50% to 100% invested or more depending on your style of trading and your appetite for risk. All right, that's a wrap for tonight's video. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you again next week.